Simple Gift Series is proudly made possible by Visit Colorado Springs, Colorado, Olympic City, USA, and the Colorado Springs Airport, Colorado's small airport. Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free. today so get out your instruments and play along with me here we go hello my friend how are you so glad you came this way i'm very well why thank you let's sing and dance and play we can sing this little song dancing singing all day long hello my friend how are you so glad you came this way we're going to have lots of fun today boys and girls learn some music. We're going to learn about asking questions. We're going to learn about learning. It's going to be a fantastic day. Hello. everybody. Welcome. How about we start our time together by warming up our voices and our bodies? Let's sing our C scale using solfege. Take a deep breath. Do, re, mi, fa, Let's remember the names of the notes from C to C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Oh, that was lovely. The C scale is a good one to play on piano. Because if we look at the keyboard, it uses all the white keys, so it's easy to remember. Let me show you a different kind of scale, a chromatic scale. A chromatic scale is a scale that uses every single note, all of the white keys and all of the black keys. I think it sounds sneaky.
Do you see how, on the keyboard, we zigzag as we play so we get every note? There are so many we can use. But how do we write down when we want to use the other keys? We use symbols called sharps and flats. When we put one of these symbols in front of a note, it changes the pitch. We call them accidentals because they're different from the regular notes. This is a sharp, and it makes the note get a little bit higher. If I stepped on a sharp symbol, I'd pick my foot up, and that helps me remember that it makes the note higher. This is a flat, and it means the note is a little bit lower. If you squash something down, you make it flat. And that's how I remember it does the same thing to the note and makes it lower. One of the notes of our C scale is an F, here. But if we put a sharp in front of it, it becomes an F sharp. Do you hear the difference? Now let's look at it on the keyboard. If we want to play an F sharp, we start by knowing where F is, then we go to the next note up. Let's look at how to play a flat note next. This is a B, but if we put a flat in front of it, it becomes a B flat. Hear the difference? And if we look at the keyboard and we want to play a B flat, we start by knowing where B is, then we go to the next note down. Sometimes a composer only uses sharps or flats once in a while, so they write it on the music staff like we just did. But what if they always want a note to be changed? If we wrote something like this, it's a lot of extra work, isn't it? To help make it easier to write, we use a key signature. It's another piece of information at the beginning of music that helps us play it. This piece of music has a lot of B flats, which means it's probably based on an F scale instead of a C scale, because F is played with B flats. If we put the key signature like this, it means we don't have to put the flat symbol in front of each B. We already know that the note B will be flat because of the key signature. It's very helpful, and the melody sounds the same. Oh, I think we should play a listening game. I'll play a note, and then I'll add an accidental. You tell me if it sounds higher or lower. Here is a C. Now. Was that higher or lower? Higher! <laughs> That's right. That means it's a C sharp. How about this one? Here's G. Now. Was that higher or lower? Lower! Good. It's a G flat because it's lower. Here's a D. And then. Lower! Nicely done. It's a D flat. And here's an F. So what about... <laughs> Excellent! It's an F sharp. Really great work, everyone. Thanks for playing with me. So long until next time. Thanks, Marty. That was swell. <laughs> now it's time to go visit our friend, Miss Lynette. What's around the corner? What's around the bend? I can see adventure for you and I, my friend. There's so much to learn and see, so come along with me. Together we can learn all that we can be. 
Welcome to my Curiosity Corner. I'm Miss Lynette and I have a wonderful adventure that I would love to share with you. Let's take a look. Hi boys and girls. Today we are going to visit the brand new United States Olympic and Paralympic Museum in Colorado Springs. Have you ever been curious about the ways in which we learn? Let's go find out inside. First, we see the symbols of the Paralympic and Olympic Games. Come with me as we use our body and our eyes and ears to learn about the history of Olympic and Paralympic Games. This museum allows us to experience what it might be like to be an Olympic athlete using our entire body and senses. How fun! Museums are put together by galleries. Each gallery displays or shares objects to read, look, or even touch. Yes, we can learn by using our senses of seeing, hearing, and touching all throughout the museum. Here is a display of the torches from the Summer and Winter Olympic Games. Look how different and beautiful they are. There's so much to see. Let's keep walking around and learning. My goodness, what a big map of the United States. We can use geography to touch, listen, and learn about the Olympics. Runners, take your mark, set, go! Our bodies can move so fast. We can use our whole body and our imagination to be an Olympic skier or an Olympic athlete in archery. This is a very special bike for our Paralympic athletes. Whoa! As we listen and watch, we feel like Olympians at the opening ceremony. Our eyes tell our brains so much about what is all around us. It's fun to watch the athletes competing in their events as we walk by. Here are some pictures of our Olympians. Skiing, curling, and skating. The Olympic and Paralympic athletes need very special equipment and clothes to be the best they can be. Your shoes are flat on the bottom, but these shoes have spikes so the Olympians can run super fast and not slip. We can even ask questions to Paralympic gold medalist Matt Scott. At the museum, we listen and learn by phone, watch and listen to movies and to videos that teach us about each and every year of the Olympic Games. The museum even has an art gallery. It is here we see the work of an artist named Leroy Neiman. He was the official painter of five Olympic Games. He used paper and pencil and paints and canvas. Here is the actual easel that Leroy Neiman used while painting. Look at all the beautiful colors he liked to paint with. We can even view the Olympic medals. Do you dream of being on Team USA and winning an Olympic medal one day? We sure learned and experienced a lot today at the United States Olympic and Paralympic Museum, all here inside this beautiful place at the foot of Pikes Peak Mountain. We will have to visit again soon. In the meantime, stay curious and keep wondering.
We all need a place to start if we want to get really smart. So much learning in so many ways. I know how I will fill my days with learning. But learning is fun! I yearn to learn My quest is to be my best No telling what I'll find As I learn to fill my mind I yearn to learn My quest is to be my best No telling what I'll find It's a beautiful day today. Let's play a game. I see so many letters. Just look around. Look up to the sky and down to the ground. I see things that start with B. I see things that start with D. I see things that start with P. Come and play with me. Let's look together now, you and I. Let's look and see what letters we can spy. Let's start with D. I see D, D, 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 D. I see What things start with D? <gasps> Dog! How about Dad? Do you have a doll? They all start with D. Good job! How about B? Here we go! I see B, B, B. 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 I see B. Now, what starts with B? <gasps> balloon! I love balloons! How about a button? Button starts with B. Bat. That's right! Good work! Now let's look for P. I see P, P, 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 P. I see P. P is a fun letter. Pumpkin starts with P. You know what else starts with P? Popsicle! And now, puddles. I love to jump in puddles. Do you? This is fun! <laughs> I see so many letters. Just look around. Look up to the sky and down to the ground. That was a fun game. You're so smart. Let's do that again sometime. Here we are in the library. I wonder what book we'll read today. It's story time, story time. Time to read our book. It's story time, story time. Time to take a And look who it is. It's our friend, Betty the Bookworm. Hello, Betty, how are you?
I'm having a great day, Miss Linda. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you. What book would you like to read today, Betty? And, and when and why? Well, it sounds to me like you would like to read My Curiosity. <laughs> you got me. Let's read along with Betty. My Curiosity. Songs and Book, written by Linda Weiss. Illustrated by Christina Wells. I am curious about so many things, like rocks and birds and butterfly wings. I am curious about the days of old and what sort of things the future will hold. Each day becomes so much fun when I learn about things one by one. Who is the queen bee and where is her throne? Where do I find a dinosaur bone? What is the reason a car goes so fast? Why does the letter Z have to go last? What makes a tree lose all its leaves? Why do some shirts have long sleeves? Who decides to make a street? Why is ice cream so very sweet? When is the right time to spot a whale? Why do some boats have a sail? Why does the sun rise up in the sky? So many things catch my eye. Why are my eyes brown and yours blue? I don't know the answers, do you? If I pay attention to all that's around, the things that I learn are sure to astound. I want to stay curious and learn so much more. Who knows what the future has in store? A doctor, an engineer, a musician I can be. All because of my curiosity. Thanks, Betty. Now, let's sing our curiosity song. I love that book. Story time, story time, reading with my friends. It's story time, story time, we'll do it soon again. <gasps> the doorbell. I wonder what gift we got today. Let's see what gift we got today. Are you ready? Oh. A book. I love books. Stories, learning, pictures. Books are full of all of these. Today's gift is the gift of knowledge. And the more we know, 
the more we can understand and appreciate the world around us. Remember, reflect on all the simple gifts we receive every day to pause and be grateful for each one. It was a fun day to learn about learning, wasn't it, boys and girls? And that we should never stop learning, ever. So long for now, my friends. This time now must end. It's been so much fun, but we're not done because I'll see for now, boys and girls. See you next time. For more information about this series, visit us at www.simplegiftseries.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Simple Gift Series.